Today I want to go through how to draw a Christmas tree with colour pencils. Now this looks like a large overwhelming project. It's actually quite simple although time consuming. So I'm going to begin by showing you the technique and then I can talk you through drawing my tree. If you'd like to draw this tree with me it is available on my Patreon as well as over 150 hours of other tutorials. Every drawing includes the reference photo, sketch outlines and swatches of all of the colours I'll be using. Check out the link in the description. Let's start looking at the method. So the first thing to do as always is put down a sketch. Now because I'm just showing you one branch right now, I am literally just going to draw a line down the middle of where I will draw this branch. If I was drawing a whole tree, then obviously I would be putting all of the lines of all of the branches so I could see where they were going. I only want to draw the center. I don't want to draw the whole outline of the branch and you'll see why in a little while. Now from here, the first tool I want to use is what's called an embossing tool. What this does is create little dips in the paper that stops the color pencil going in these areas. So I'm using the very smallest embossing tool that I have. And I'm just making little flicks coming out from the line that I put down as my sketch. Now I'm not pressing really hard here. I'm pressing lightly on the paper and it is making little dips. It's not doing anything that's going to damage the paper. So just lightly flicking from the center outwards. And as you can see, it's made these little dips in the paper. So from here, I want to start building up some greens. So what I do is look for the very lightest green that I want to use. And I want to make sure that I've got a nice sharp pencil. And once again, kind of similar to what I did with the embossing tool, I want to make little flicks coming from the center line going outwards. Now, if I was drawing from a reference photo, I would want to be looking at the direction of all of the needles and trying to copy them where I can. I'm just gonna work my way the whole way around making these little flicks. The most important things here is to have a nice sharp pencil so that they are very crisp lines and to press very lightly. The key with drawing these branches and drawing a Christmas tree is to build everything up gradually. So with that in mind, I don't want to suddenly go to a much darker color. I'm going to slowly build up. So I'm going for the next darkest color that I can see within the tree. So I'm going to use this quite earthy but light green and I once again want to be doing this in exactly the same way. So making these little flicks with a sharp pencil coming from this center line. And you can begin to see that it is building up the right texture of the tree. You can also see where I put the embossing tool. You can see that there's some areas where the pencil isn't going down, but that's good. That's what I want that to do. So I'm going to keep working my way through. So I'm going to work onto a darker green now, still doing this in the same way. And then I can also move on to quite a dark brown. As I get onto the dark brown, I want to be particularly focusing on putting these flicks more towards the center. I don't want to put as many flicks with the dark brown towards the outside. So you can see after I've done this brown, the branch is looking a bit more brown and a bit less green. So what I want to do from here is work back through these same greens that I've already used. Still adding these flicks in, but just going back over the top and it turns that brown less of a brown and more of a dark green. Now up until now, I have been exclusively using flicking motions. As I get back to my lightest green, I am just gonna lightly shade over the top of the branch. And then as you can see, I'm left with something that does look like a Christmas tree branch. So drawing a Christmas tree is just a case of doing this over and over again for all of the branches. So that's the technique I want to use. Let's draw a whole Christmas tree. So the first thing as usual I want to do is mark out my sketch. And as I say, I don't want to be drawing around the edges of the branches. That's going to show through when I've done all of my flicking motions. I want to just be drawing the center of the branches. I do also want to be adding in any baubles here so I can see where they're going to go. And then from here, I'm going to go over the whole tree and lightly put all of those little strokes with the embossing tool. And then I can move on to my very lightest green. So now in the same way that I did on my example a second ago, I'm using these little flicking motions and going over all of the branches. I am working from a reference photo here and I am looking very closely at the direction of all of the needles on the tree so that I make sure that all of the branches look like they are going in the right direction. From here, I want to do exactly the same thing again with a slightly darker green. 
And this is where it becomes a bit clearer to see all of the different directions that the needles need to go. And before I go any further with drawing the branches, I also want to put down a very light little base layer on the baubles. So there's a mixture of red baubles, gold baubles and silver. So for the red, I want to be adding in the very lightest red that I can see within these baubles. And for the gold and silver, I generally find it works best to put down a base with a very light warm grey for the gold and cool grey for the silver. And then quite quickly, I can kind of see the structure of the tree and what I'm working with. And it's going to make my life a bit easier as I get towards some of the darker colours. I always like to draw things in lightly to start with and it's a good opportunity for me to get my bearings. It means if I make a mistake, it's much easier to correct than if I went in straight away with a dark colour. From here, I want to keep working on the branches in the same way as I showed you earlier. So moving on to a darker green now and further building up all of the texture on these branches. And then from here, I want to be once again focusing on the baubles. They all look a little bit pink at the moment. So I want to be adding a deeper red and just lightly shading over the top whilst leaving any areas of light that I can see on the reference. I also want to do the same on the gold baubles and for this I can use a light brown to create that gold kind of look and again a cool grey to create the silver look. From here I want to once again focus on the branches and at this point I want to move on to the dark brown. And it's here that the tree really starts coming together. I'm very much switching between drawing the branches and drawing the baubles. I want to gradually deepen them down all at the same pace. I find that makes it far easier to see what else needs adding. So I'm once again going to use a dark grey to add some of the silver details on the string on the baubles. And then actually from here, I think the tree needs deepening down a little bit more. So I am very lightly going to put some black on the branches as well. Now this is in the same way that I did earlier, particularly focusing at the center of the branches. So now from here, my tree does look like a tree, but looks a little bit peculiar. So I do want to start going back over the top of all of this with the greens I've already used. And once again, I'm doing this in exactly the same way, still using these little flicking motions. So starting from the darkest green and gradually working my way to the lightest green. And then the last few things I want to be doing on the tree itself is adding in any other colors I can see. So for example, there's a few star shapes on this tree that are lights and are creating the odd bright yellow patch within the tree. So I want to be going over the top of some of the branches with this bright yellow and adding this on top of a lot of the texture I've already added because it's a much lighter color. You can still see that texture through, it's just brightening up some of the areas. And then once again, want to brighten up a lot of these red baubles which I can go back over the top of those with a darker red. It's really just a lot of what I've already done. It's just deepening down what's already there. From here, I'm just going to touch up a few areas towards the middle of the tree where I think they do need deepening down a tiny bit more. And then I can move on to drawing the presents. Now in comparison to the tree, the presents are nice and simple. These don't have any texture on them. They are all nice and smooth. So what I need to be doing is building up some smooth, even color gradually. So I want to start off with putting down some base layers, just putting the lightest color that I can see in each area and blocking it in. So I can start off with this lightish red and I want to be working in little circular motions to try and get this as smooth as possible. And I am doing this very, very lightly. From here, I also want to be adding in base layers on all of the rest of the colors I can see in this area. So for example, I want to put down a light green on the green present on the right hand side. And I want to be putting down some grays on the silver bow on the left hand side. And from here, I once again want to gradually work my way down through the colors, looking for the next darkest color and lightly adding that over the top. This is all part of roughly marking everything out so that I can see it looks about right before I start building up deeper colors. And then once I've built up and marked in all of these lighter and mid-tone colors, I can gradually start working my way towards the darker colors until I start adding in the black. Now, on the most part, I'm not adding in the black firmly. I just want to be putting a light layer of the black just to deepen down any areas that need it. 
If there's any areas that do need to be dark black, I can always add those in at the end. And then once I'm happy that I've marked everything in, I can then start pressing a little bit firmer with the pencil, still working in these circular motions so everything looks nice and smooth. And I'm literally using the same colors that I already have, just with a little bit more pressure. Once I've done this, it's a bit easier to see if there's any other colors I need to add. So for example, I want to deepen down the side of the green box, just using some of the dark greens that I used in the tree. Where possible, I am trying to use the same colors it just helps tie the whole drawing together if I can. If there's a color that is vastly different, obviously I will use a color I didn't use in the tree. Then the last thing to do on the presents is just add in a nice crisp shadow along the bottom. And here I am doing this with the black and I am pressing quite firmly because it is a very deep shadow down here. It's really gonna help sort of line these presents. The last thing to do is draw in the star and once again I'm working through this in exactly the same way. So putting down a light base layer with a warm grey, I can then use a light brown to begin marking in some of the shadows in the star and that's what's going to help make it look gold. I can then move on to a dark brown and then even a very light amount of black for the absolute darkest shadows. And then I can once again go over the top of this with the light brown just to give it a little bit more of a gold appearance. And then that's it. Don't forget this tree is available in real time on my Patreon. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Don't forget to click the subscribe and the notify bell so you never miss an art tutorial. Merry Christmas everyone, I'll see you in the next one.